Hey Sporklers! Welcome back to another quiz creation how-to. If you've never contributed a quiz before, it's definitely worth taking a look at our Clask and Clickable tutorials before attempting this one. This week we're taking a baby step up from Clask and Clickable quizzes and graduating to slideshows. I've never contributed a slideshow quiz before, so this is a whole new world to both of us. The slideshow format is great for incorporating a visual element into your quiz. While they may look very different from Clask and Clickable, they're actually very similar in terms of quiz creation. Let's get started! Navigate to the Game Creation dashboard and hit Create a Sporkle Quiz. We're going to have to switch up the quiz concept this time, so we'll go with Vegetables by Cross Section. No similar games are showing up, so we're good to switch the game type to Slideshow and hit Create Game. The Game Info tab is going to look really familiar to you. It's the exact same as for classic quizzes, but without the column headings. We're going to change the description a bit, set the game timer to one minute, and switch the answer type to vegetable. We'll put this quiz in the miscellaneous category, and we're ready to save our changes. Now let's move on to the data tab. Now you're already familiar with putting in answers, so I'll just do that before we get to the pictures. Okay. Now we've already hunted down some pictures of vegetable cross sections that we like, and they're all on Imgur waiting for us to use. To put them into our quiz, all we need to do is take the direct link and stick it into the hints column. A common mistake if you're troubleshooting your quiz is when people take the image link instead of the direct link. For our last answer, we'll take the image link and I'll show you how that shows up on the quiz. So clicking through the test version of the quiz, we can see that all of our pictures are beautifully in there. But now when we get to the last picture, which we put the image link for, it shows up as a broken image icon. No worries, the image itself isn't broken, we just need to put the direct link in. No matter what image hosting site you use, you want to make sure that the end of this link ends in .jpg, .png, or another supported file format. And now that we've fixed that up, our quiz is ready to play through. We'll click the test quiz button up above and have another go at it. Now, I may be biased, but I think this looks beautiful. Let's go back to the edit window and head to the finish up tab and launch our game to the public. And with that, our first slideshow quiz is done. Like with the classic and clickable quizzes, there are lots of other options to play around with, but now you've got a good base to experiment on. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to leave us a thumbs up and comment with what tutorial you'd like to see next. As always, there's plenty more quiz creation info on the Sporkle blog for more slideshow tips or to get started with other quiz formats. Good luck!